Hello. Can you like watch the stream on your phone? Me? Watch my, my phone or Damn. Anyway. Hello. We're live. And uh, I just came back from the shops and we got a bunch of PC parts that I'm doing for someone today. We've got a cooler master, master watt, 550 watt, 80 plus bronze power supply. I didn't go for the most performance focused rig because performance isn't the most important thing in this case because he's only, uh, the person I'm building it for is only gaming on it and he's also only gaming uh, with old games, mostly old games. The hardest game that he has to run is Civilization 6. The only concern I had at first was um, I need a video card with enough RAM because he was playing on an ultra wide 3440 by 1440 monitor, so that was a problem. 16 gigs of clef memory, uh, 3200 megahertz. It's what CL CL CL18. It's all right. It's not great, but it's all right. Cool, cool, cool. And uh, a CPU that I have actually built with before, the i3 10100. Surprisingly good amount of value. Uh, it does cost more than a Ryzen 3 3100, but uh, you can save on RAM with this because you don't have to get as fast RAM. In fact, you can go with 2666 RAM instead of this. Uh, and with an Intel CPU, you do get a bunch of advantages uh, with optimization, things like Intel Quick Sync, if you plan to do some live streaming. So it's actually reasonably good value, even though I don't like Intel systems that much. In this particular case, the quad-core hyper-threaded i3 actually makes a pretty good amount of sense. Of course, if you can pay another $40, I'd say go for the 3300X because that destroys this in terms of performance. Uh, but if you are really budget tight and you need a quad-core CPU, this is a, not, a, not a bad CPU. And for the local pricing at the shop that I shopped at, it was, a, it was the best choice. Okay, what else do we have in here? We have a motherboard. This is the H4. 10M HDV. Built with this before, it's a terrible motherboard. It's an ITX motherboard, and we're building an METX board, uh, an METX case, but it's cheap and it gets the job done, and that's, that's all we care about. Uh, so long as we can put our CPU in it, and so long as we can put our GPU in it, that's all I care about. In terms of storage, we've got any messages here? Okay, we've got a Clev SSD. This is a 500 gig? Yeah, this is a 500 gig M.2 NVMe SSD. Uh, it's QLC or TLC, not too sure, and it has an SLC cache in it, so it's it's pretty alright. It's not going to be amazing, especially if you fill it up to 400 plus gigs, um, but if you keep it reasonably empty, like half full, then you're going to have pretty alright performance from it. As you can see, a lot of Clef stuff. Clef is very cheap, so it's good for a value build like this. And we got Cooler Master, Master Box. MB320L ARGB. Now, I could have saved a bit more money on this case in particular, but the reason I got this uh, this case was because, you know, I was sick of techware, even though their cases might be pretty good. And I wanted to see how Cooler Master fared in the budget category. This cost about 70 Singapore dollars, which is a bit pricey, but with some negotiations, it cost us about 60. Uh, and in comparison, something like the Techware Nexus M is 45. So if you're on an absolute budget and you need pure, pure, pure performance, then maybe skip on the case. But uh, I was fine with not skipping on the case because uh, I didn't really see the need to go with a Ryzen 3300X because the i3 is enough and that's the only place that I will spend more on in this rig in particular actually. So yeah. Okay, and uh, of course I forgot to talk about it, the GPU. So this is the absolute most valuable part of the rig, 220 Singapore dollars for a GTX 1070. SC, super clocked EVGA card, beautiful, well built system uh, with, you know, very good. It's a very high end card, and the, for the price I got a pretty good amount of value. It's going to be enough for 3440 by 1440, even for Civilization 6. It's got a good amount of video RAM, uh, VRAM, so it should be able to handle that resolution, so long as you don't crank the settings. Uh, definitely not going to be bottlenecked by just this i3. That's for sure. Now, the guy who I was building it for, you know, just wants quality of life um, over pure gaming performance because he only plays all games in Civilization 6, so there's no real need for absolute performance. So I didn't skimp on the case, go techware, and then get uh, a Ryzen instead. I went for the i3, that's why 
I have explained it before. But that's pretty much it for the parts haul. I really like the look of this graphics card though. Oof. It's high end. Anyway, is there anyone in the chat? Mm. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna unbox this case now. Alright, there's two viewers, what's up? We're gonna unbox this case right now. Whoa. This is a military issue knife. Alright, sweet. Cooler Master packaging. Okay. I'm gonna pull out this case. He's probably too busy to watch this live stream. That's why he's asking me to build it. Oh! It is a master case, but it looks... You know what this looks like? The front? The front reminds me of the really old Cooler Master case. You know the... The, the Styro or something. You know the... The really big one. The huge one. The old series of Cooler Master case with the curved front. I really like those cases. Okay. I would peel off this plastic right now, but I want to keep it on for protection. So, there you go. It's got ARGB, so supposedly I think those fans are RGB, which is a nice touch. Um, hopefully they aren't proprietary, like the Techwear fans in the Forge M. Four thumb screws, you know, you got the standard power supply shroud layout. Pretty much the standard layout. Not sure about the mounting options in here, but the front can take, I think, one, two 140mm fans or two 120mm fans, I think. Maybe even three, not too sure about that. Should have, there's clearance for a radiator on top, which is nice. You can have 140mm, uh, up top, up top. so up top you can have 120 or 140mm fans. Um, so the, the fan mounting on this is better than the Techwear cases, that's for sure. No filtered fan intake still. Wait, is the front filtered? No, the, fan is, the front is not filtered, there's a bit of mesh on the sides, but there's no filter here. And um, yes, this case is about $30 more than the Nexus M, but you can feel it in things that aren't too obvious. So if you look closely, the fit and finish is a bit better than the Techwear cases. Uh, the small details, for example, the headphone jack actually has metal in it. I like the plastic headphone jacks on the, the Techwear. The button feels a bit better. Uh, the, the kind of the finishing is a bit better on this case. They're a bit less sharp edges. But there's still a lot of cheap things about this case, like the one use disposable PCIe slot covers um, but overall it seems pretty nice so I'm gonna open it up just to see it because I never used this case before the MB320L from Cooler Master standard issue army knife with screwdriver ah. Hmm? Yeah, I know, right? This is just like a verge. You need you need a Swiss Army knife to build that, a PC. That yes. Hopefully, has a Phillips head screwdriver. Yeah, hopefully, has a Phillips head. Oh, these are self retaining screwdrivers. That's good. There's a bit of rubber so it doesn't fall out. That's a very nice touch. Oh, does it have pre installed scanner? Oh, it does have pre installed scanner. That's nice. Do, do, do. Any chat? No. Any questions, lads? Are you sure? Oh, you got one viewer. It's probably turtle neck or something. So is that guy. Awesome. Go ahead and ask any questions if you are interested. I'm gonna open up this case. Okay. Sweet. Oh my god. I got butter from yesterday. Alright. Case layout's pretty standard. We got Pre-installed standoffs, very nice. Uh, plenty of cable management, no rubber grommets too, and the cable management. And yeah, there's definitely space for a radiator. You know, it's a much bigger case I think than the Nexus M. Uh, it's about the size of a Forge M. The front fans, they're not choked off at all. There seems to be a pretty good amount of clearance for them to breathe. 
RGB fans from Cooler Master. Are they silent those? What fan, what fan model is this? They're just normal ARGBs. They're not even pressure fans. So that's a bummer. But okay, it's not too bad. Your SSD mounting options should be down here. And I think you have the ability to mount hard drives. Yeah, there's a hard drive bay right here where my finger is. Hello. Oh, there's three people watching. I got like, all right, three people watching. All right. Power supply shroud, standard power supply, hopefully. Yo, I swear to God, if this is the FS SFX, I will be pissed off. Look no, how. That's quite shallow, eh? Are you sure that's standard power supply? It's, it is? Because I remember in other cases. Eh? Alright. Is this, is this a grommeted? Yes. You paid $30 so the screws, the thumb screws don't fall out when you're screwing them. That's what you pay for. Made in China, because. Because we all want to see that sticker, of course. Peel that off. No one wants that. Okay. Come back here. Oh, Jesus, I'm clumsy. All right, we got. Wow. This is this is what you pay thirty dollars for. You pay for silica gel and a lot of cable management. You get a lot of tools in here, which is very very nice. Sorry, SSD mounting, fast quick release rails, I think. Uh, you got fan adapters, so you can plug it into, so you can control the RGBs on there if your motherboard doesn't have RGB uh, fan support. And yeah, you got your front connectors, everything is kind of neat. I guess that's what you pay the extra money over a tech wear for. So that's pretty interesting. Okay, so that's the case. And I feel like opening up the power supply because I actually never met with this power supply before. Oh, it's it's a modular power supply. That's that's good. It's semi, semi modular. Were you researching the parts when you were home just now? How do you know more about these parts? Shit. All right, let's open it up. Hmm, smells like crash. Very nice packaging. It will be a shame if I can't do it. Yeah, as you can see that is a semi-modular power supply. Very little expansion. Yeah, got a question? Uh, you can join the giveaway, but the air dots, the air, the the giveaway is a pure luck thing, just to be fair to everyone. So sorry about that. Okay, power supply, semi modular It's not very, it's not full of expansion. You've got like three ports. Okay, that's, that's pretty much it for all the stuff that I want to open now. Thank you guys for watching. I will be building this PC and the PC build will probably come up today in a couple of hours. So stay tuned for that, subscribe for that. But right now I need to build this PC and subscribe because I will be reviewing another case on top of this. I'll be reviewing the Techware Forge M in like a couple of days. So that's that. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for this live stream. Thank you for showing up. See you guys next time. Bye.